Hi guys, I'm Louise Rowe. I'm a TV presenter and fashion expert, and I'm really excited to be here today working with Weight Watchers. First of all, it's time to find your style inspiration. You know, it's not just rich, famous, skinny people who are allowed to have a style icon or be a style icon. You can be your own. And what I find really helpful is to tear things out of magazines, any dresses you like that you see online, read fashion blogs, just get ideas, old family Polaroids, even going to museums and art galleries or walking around really trendy areas. Soak it all up, soak up the colors, the people, the looks, the hair, the makeup, and start a little scrapbook of your own because that's gonna give you an idea of what you want. Do you like the 50s, you know, cinched in waists and A-line skirts, or are you more of a 70s girl? Personally, I love the 70s. So that's what you should arm yourself with first. And I'm not saying if you like Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's that you should prance around all day with a beehive and a cigarette holder, because we're all a bit too busy to do that. But it's the little touches. So you might wear a pair of pearl earrings or a black shift dress or the giant shades, my personal fave. When you go shopping, make a list beforehand and stick to it. You've really got to stick to your agenda. And every time you buy something, I live by the rule of, well, will it go with three things I've already got? So you're not just wasting your money on a random piece. So is that top gonna go with my jeans and the leggings I already have, or it would look great with the shoes I've already got in my wardrobe. Use the changing rooms. I know people hate them. The lighting is pretty much always awful, but they're there to be tested out so you don't waste your money and buy stuff that you never even open the bag or wear. So use the changing rooms and when you go in there, you know, put a bit of makeup on before, a spray tan if you can be bothered, whack a pair of heels in your bag because when you're trying on a dress and you've got your socks on, it's not going to look that good. So you want to make the whole outfit feel complete. Take a friend, just one friend who's really honest. You don't need a gaggle of people. Whoever you trust to give you honest advice is definitely worth having. And last but not least, forget about sizes, okay? I will never forget the day recently when I went shopping and in different stores, I varied by four sizes. And I know it can seem really disheartening, but just forget about the number in that tag. If it fits, it's yours.